Hello viewers. In this video, we'll dive into the Power Query tools focusing on how to use the interface for data transformation and cleaning. Power Query is a data connection and transformation tool that simplifies the process of importing, cleaning and reshaping data from various sources. It offers an easy interface for users to combine and refine data. With Power Query, users can automate data preparation tasks, save time and ensure consistent data analysis workflows. In our previous lesson, we imported an Excel dataset into Power BI. The link to the dataset is given in the description. Before getting deep into this session, let's understand the dataset that we are going to use. We're using the global Superstore dataset from Kaggle.com, which includes records like sales figures, customer information, and transaction dates across different regions. This dataset has 51,290 rows and 26 columns. To launch, go to the Home tab on the top ribbon and then click Transform Data. Here it is, the Power Query Editor. Power Query Editor is divided into four parts. Navigator pane, located on the left, here you can see each dataset loaded into Power BI. You can select different tables to work on them. Query Settings pane. On the right, this pane shows the history of all transformation steps for the selected query. You can revisit and modify any step whenever you need it. Ribbon. Contains all the necessary tools for cleaning and transforming data. Data Preview area. The main workspace where your data is displayed in a table format. Here, you can directly edit and transform your data. In the Home tab, by the New Source option, you can connect different types of data from external sources. In the Recent Source option, you can find the list of all recently used data sources. With the Enter Data option, you can create a table manually. Click here to add a new column. Click here to add a new row. You can manually input your data in the cells. You can also copy a data range from your Excel and paste it in this editor. It will create a custom table inside your Power Query. The Data Source Settings option is for managing the privacy and paths of different data sources. You can change the source, edit the permissions and clear the permissions. Click on the Change Source. You can change the file path to change your data source. You can sync your source data with the Refresh Preview option. With the Manage tool, you can delete the selected table, duplicate it, or create a new table that references this table. Moving forward, in the Choose Columns option, you can choose the columns that you want to keep in your table. For example, if we check mark category, city, country, customer ID, customer name, product ID, and profit column, it will keep only these fields in the table. Also, by using this option, you can go to a specific column in the preview. Let's select the state column it will directly take us to the state column in the preview.
From the Remove Column option, you can delete the selected columns. Or you could remove all other columns rather than the selected ones. Keep Rows. This option allows you to retain only the rows you need from your dataset. Select Keep Top Rows and specify the number of rows you need to keep from top of your dataset. Input 5. It will keep only top 5 rows of your dataset. Select Keep Bottom Rows and specify the number of column you need to keep from the bottom of your dataset. Input 5. It will keep only bottom 5 rows of the dataset. Select Keep Range of Rows, specify the first row and total number of rows. Input 3 in the first row prompt and 10 in the number of rows. It will keep from row no 3 to 12 of the dataset. Keep Duplicates option will keep only the duplicate values of the selected column. Select the Customer ID column and run Keep Duplicates function. It returns only the duplicate customer IDs. In the same way, Remove Rows Option allows you to remove unwanted rows that you don't need in the dataset. All the options under this tool work opposite of Keep Rows tool. The Sort Ascending tool quickly organizes our data values from the smallest to the largest and Sort Descending arranges from the largest down to the smallest. Select the Order Date column and choose Sort Ascending to arrange dates from earliest to latest. For the opposite order, select Sort Descending to display dates from the latest to the earliest. The split column feature in Power Query allows to divide a single column into multiple columns based on a delimiter, number of characters, by positions and in many other ways. This is useful for separating combined data, like full names into first and last names, or addresses into city, state and zip code. Select the Order ID column and choose Split Column Tool and then By Delimiter. You can choose a delimiter from the drop-down, or you can manually enter one. Input hyphen here, then select each occurrence of the delimiter, and then proceed. It split the column each time the hyphen occurred in the value. If you select left most delimiter, the column will split based on the first hyphen encountered in each value, creating two new columns, one with the text before the first hyphen and another with the remainder. Similarly, selecting rightmost delimiter will split the column based on the last hyphen in each value. Select the product ID column and go to Split Column Tool, and then by Number of Characters. Set Number of Characters to 5. This operation divides the column into new columns, each containing the first five characters of the original value. If you select far left as possible, the split will occur only once for each entry, creating two new columns. The first will contain the first five characters from the product ID, and the second will contain the remainder of the characters, if any. Conversely, choosing far right as possible applies the split based on the last five characters, creating two new columns where the first contains all characters before the last five characters of the product ID, 
and the second column captures the last five characters. Now, choose Split Column by Positions. In this method, you specify the exact character positions where you want the split to occur in your column. For example, if you enter positions 3 and 6, Power Query will divide the Product ID column into two new columns, the first containing the characters between positions 3 and 6, and the second containing the remainder of the characters after position 6. If you enter positions 3, 6, 10, this will split the column into three columns, the first containing the characters between positions 3 and 6, the second containing the characters between positions 6 and 10, and the third containing the remainder of the characters after position 10. This precise control allows for data manipulation, especially useful for structured text fields. Again, if we select product name column and run split column by non-digit to digit, Power Query will automatically detect transitions from non-numeric to numeric characters in the column values and split the column at these points. This results in separating text descriptions from any following numeric data. Stay tuned for our next video, where we'll cover second part of the Power Query tutorial. If you've learned something new from this video and looking for tutorials similar to this, please give it a like. Subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you don't miss out on our upcoming tutorials. Thank you for watching.